Republicans will approach the gun reform question now, given the circumstances. Since I haven't spoken to them, I don't know, but my guess is that they have a... If they, yes, I think they're going to have to take a hard look. Is there one element? Is it age? Is it red flag? Is it some component that you think could be most successful now? Well, that's hard to say because I've not been negotiating with any of the Republicans yet. And uh, I deliberately did not uh, engage in a debate about that with any Republicans in, that were when we were down controlling the families in Texas. Uh, so I, I, don't, I don't know what is the most, how far it goes. I know that it makes no sense to be able to purchase something that can fire up to 300 rounds. I know it makes, and I know what happened when we had rational action before, back in, in the crime bill, which, which is the law that I got back. It did significantly cut down mass murder. And so there's only one reason for something that can fire, you know, 100 shots. I mean, and I, I'll just conclude with this. Look, when I first started doing hearings on the issue of what rational gun laws should be, it was during a period when I was a senator and the death rate was going up. Not that many more people were being shot, but the death rate was up. I went, I think it was, a, I'm not sure, I think it was Tomahawk Hospital in New York, whatever the largest trauma hospital is. And I sat with a trauma doctor. And I asked him, I said, what's the difference? Why are so many people, not, not that many more people are being shot. This is not 20 years ago, it was 25 years I said, why are they dying? And they showed me a, 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 a x-ray. He said, a 22 caliber bullet will lodge in the lung, and we can probably get it out, maybe able to get it, and save the life. A 9 millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body. So the idea of these high caliber weapons is of, there is simply no rational basis for it in terms of what this is about self-protection, hunting, I mean, I just, I mean, remember, the Constitution, the Second Amendment, was never absolute. You couldn't buy a cannon when the Second Amendment was back. You couldn't go out and purchase a lot of weapons. And those who, not many are saying it anymore, but there was a while there where people were saying that, you know, the tree of liberty is water with the blood of patriots, and what we have to do is have to be able to take on the government when they're wrong. Well, to do that, you need an F-15, you know? You need a Abrams tank. I mean, so it's just, I, I, say, I, think, things, I, I think things have gotten so bad that everybody's getting more rational about it. At least that's my hope and prayer. I, I have a goal so Mom, in this. I got Sir, I know you want Congress to act, but you believe as president you have a particular responsibility now? Oh, I know I have this. I, I, there's a constitution. I can't dictate this stuff. I can do the things I've done. And any executive action I can take, I'll continue to take. But I can't outlaw a weapon. I can't, you know, change the background check. I can't do that. And, you know, my whole career I've been doing it. Persuasion, yeah. But, you know, there's been a few things happening. I don't know you can it. You got to travel. Well, McConnell, McConnell has ordered, uh, directed Senator Cornyn to search for a compromise. Do you really think there's something there, or are they just Look, making I, noise? I, I, I... I I don't know, but I think there's a realization on the part of rational Republicans, and I consider McConnell a rational Republican, and Cornyn is as well. Um, I think there's a recognition in their part that the Navy can't continue like this. You can't do this. I've got to go in. i got the gold star for if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.